Hello everybody and welcome back to Lobrix. Today we are checking out the latest CMF collectible minifigure series from LEGO. And that would be the Muppets. These came out May 4th of 2022 and they retailed for $4.99 USD plus sales tax in your particular state. So... You get 12 figures per set, which is following the standard at which they've been doing since Series 21. So that's kind of interesting. They switch from 16 to 12, and then you get a whole wide range of figures here from the Muppets, which was a classic cartoon back in the day that was later bought out by Disney. But anyway, let's cut into these figures, starting with, I suppose, this one right here. Now, I'm not exactly sure what and who we're going to get today but i know that the, we're at least going to get these fellows up top so let's take a look at who we get first now as far as names go i know that they're puppets so yeah you're gonna have to bear with me here and if you're our target audience you probably don't know them their names very well either so i have a leaky trooper here to help me out First up, we've got a member of the Muppets band here who has seem, seems to have ingested a little bit too much of that happy, happy herb. But anyway, she comes with a nice guitar here. Let's see what she, she can do with the placement of said guitar. She's holding it there, looks pretty sweet, and overall is a pretty cool figure. I don't exactly know her name, I just know she's a member of the Muppets band, but pretty, pretty cool. I don't know her name either. Yeah, I guess maybe maybe our instructional sheet will show who she is and what else we're getting in the set. So, let's take a look. You know, these instructional manuals have changed quite a bit over the years, but you know, it's pretty standard for your average set here. We can take a look there. We've got what appears to be a dog, a scientist, the lab rat, this fella, you got Gonzo. Kermit. Gonzo, you got Kermit, you got Miss Piggy, you got the bear guy, you Fozzie. got Fozzie, you got Animal, you got the two announcers, you got the chef, and then of course, number 12, which is our member of the band, unknown what her name is. And I don't know what her name, but the band, the lead of the band had like big gold teeth. And I think it was like Mr. Gold Teeth Sunshine Band or something like that. Yeah, something like something along those lines. But anyway, let's cut into our next figure. And if you want to know more about these figures and see them in detail, we will be doing a review video shortly. And if you're watching this in the future, after May of 2022, then you can just watch it right after this video. But anyway, we got another member of the Muppets band being Creature. And we actually have animal. to- Animal, animal, Yeah, he's, a, he's an animal. But we actually have to build up his, his drum kit here. But look, take a look at that. He's a pretty cool looking figure there. And one thing to note about the Muppets set is very familiar with the Looney Tunes set or similar to the Looney Tunes set in that they created new molds for basically every figure. So that's pretty cool. And Animal is definitely a good example of that with some crazy looking printing on all that. But anyway, let's build up his drum set here and get it get it going. All right, so there we have it. There's Animal and his drum set looking pretty cool. And, you know, it's another member of the Muppets band. But anyway, let's cut into another package here. I hope to get this guy right here. I think his name is Beaker, and he was the test for the test rat for the scientist. And no, we didn't get Beaker, but we got another beloved Muppets character, of course, being the chef. He, you know, may chef. he may have spoke complete gobbledygook, but he he still cooked up something something fresh. I mean, just look at this dish that he is. He is preparing here. It literally has a face on it. He comes with these two little mixing pieces here. Pretty cool. I don't know if those are new or not. Sometimes they make new molds for this, but who knows? So he's Swedish. And, That's It's not gobbledygook. He's speaking Swedish, which is gobbledygook. Yeah. But anyway, he comes with a little radish there. Another member of the uh, Muppets, Mupp Muppets, Muppet gang. Anyway, 
let's cut into another figure here. And an interesting note about the figures is the display we found it in was actually laid out in a certain way to where you knew that you were going to get the figures and there was probably five sets in each pack. And it was kind of like one of those displays where it's the hanging uh, rack kind and there was two figures in each hanging rack and there were six racks. So if you ever see that particular display, just note that it is mapped out. So don't grab all your figures from one particular row. Mix it up a little bit. All right, looks up. Looks like the next figure we got was Fozzie. Waka waka waka. Yeah, he was a he was quite the character. Let me tell you. I mean, just look at him. He looks like he is trouble. He is a very joyous guy. I mean, let's be honest. Look at him. How could you how could you stay mad at someone like that? And he also does come with a microphone here, which is interesting because this is the first time I've seen a microphone that is just completely all just a solid black color there. There's no no detailing on that. It's just all one solid black color there, if you see what I'm talking about. There's no silver tip for the microphone. So, who knows? But yeah, I, I don't know. I think he was like the stand-up comic sort of type. Which is interesting. I don't know if he was the main the main guy in, a, in the in the Muppets band. I think he was more a more of a comedic comedic fella. Yeah, he but was anyway, a stand up comic that always bombed. His jokes were terrible. Yeah, he was. That that was kind of the the joke was he didn't have good jokes. But anyway, that is Fozzie. But anyway, let's rip into another pack here. What 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 will we get? I'm hoping for Kermit. That's of course, you know, the figure that came out of the set that everyone's wanted for a long time. was so We'd never gotten a Lego Kermit before. So, speak of the Kermit! devil. There he is. This is the first Lego Kermit and probably the last, unless they release a Muppet set, that we'll get. And he comes with his famous banjo and a nice, lovely rainbow. Because, you know, his songs involve the rainbows and such. So, there you go. He comes with a rainbow and a guitar or not a guitar a banjo kermit the frog here yeah and it's the first time we've gotten a kermit and it does look great and if you want me if you want to see me to go over all of these figures we will be doing a video so check it out have you have you gotten kermit's lover yet who miss is a, piggy is a pig? no we haven't we've only we've gotten five here so we're not even halfway done yet but anyway let's check out the next figure in the set what will it be Speak of the devil, it's the scientist. And, you know, the scientist, he's a man of science. But unfortunately, he only comes with himself and a beaker. So, not as creative as they could have gotten. But still a cool one to have. And one day, maybe we'll get the real beaker, the figure. So, yeah, there we go. There's the scientist. Let's cut into our next pack here. What do we got? What do we got? Who's it gonna be? I think... Is this Fozzie? This is... Gonzo! Gonzo! Is Fo he... Fozzie's the bear. Fozzie's the bear, yeah, look... We're not sure what Gon Gonzo is. I think he's a buzzard. Gonzo, Gonzo is such a cool mold. Look at that mold there. That nose is so wacky. This is one of the wackiest Lego minifigures I've ever seen, but look at him. His name is Gonzo. What a what a what a good fella to get. Some people love chicken. He loves chicken. Yeah, he really he's really a fan. But yeah, there's there's Gonzo there. And might I say that these figures, they just look so cool. I mean, Lego's really knocked it out of the park, especially the Looney Tunes and now Muppets. We're getting all of the classics here. These are awesome. Yeah, these are some really, really well done figures. So you wanna, you know check them out we will be doing a review soon i know i'm really hyping it up but we're really going to take a look at these figures in depth so you definitely gotta watch it but anyway next up we've got beaker which is the uh lab rat who is constantly getting abused by this evil scientist over here he keeps getting blown up and stuff but wow take a look at this guy he he has got a really cool head mold there with a walkie talkie of course he, he looks stressed. Yeah, he looks a little a little frightened. I mean, I would be too if I was a lab rat. <laughs> yeah, we'll put him right on right on next to the scientist over here. And we're going to have to like, start layering these figures a little bit here because 
run out of space. So anyway, let's move into our next figure. Who is it going to be? We still haven't seen Miss Piggy yet, so every time I do call it a figure, we typically get them the next 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 time around. Yeah, look at that. I said we didn't see Miss Piggy, and Miss Piggy appears. So, so yeah, this is Kermit's lover, a pig and a frog. Not really my first choice, but you know, there she is, the famous pig herself. And wow, is she looking very fine. So what can I say? So if a frog breed, is it a frig or is it a You're frog? probably going to have to call a biologist for that one. But anyway, we still have a couple more figures. And I think we're going to get the announcers because, you know, there's announcers in. They're the critics. They're the critics. So they just sit up in the balcony and rip on all the Muppets. Speak of the devil. We got one of the critics right and I here. Think like Waldorf, and I can't remember what the other guys. Did. Yeah, I'm. I know they're just they're just two old guys that are just hackling all all throughout the show. And this guy's got a laptop here, and it's got what appears to be you know some some uh, information on there on the laptop. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we'll give it to him here. He is one of the critics, so that's pretty sweet. There we go, there's the first critic. And there are two, so hopefully we'll be able to see the next one very shortly. Which will it be? The critic or I'm not even sure who else we're missing. There's so no, Ralph. Ralph. Will it be the critic or Ralph? Who will it be? This packet did not really cut open very well, so looks like we've got Ralph the dog. And he comes with some interesting pieces here. So we've got we've got the dog himself, main man Ralph, and then he's got what appears to be some sort of bust of a of a famous famous man. It's Beethoven. Beethoven. Oh, Ralph is a piano player. Because he because he's a he piano he's a pianist. That's a that's a hey, little known fact. He comes with a sheet of music there. That's pretty neat. Definitely a cool way to do it. And there's Ralph, who is the. I think it's Rolf. Rolf. Which means that this last figure here is going to be the other critic, which were those were always my favorite characters. Just just crapping on it. I think it definitely added a nice dynamic to the Muppets back in the day. And this guy has got two glasses of tea. They give you enough extra pieces to give him two teacups there, which I think is interesting. And then he's got this here sign, which says ZZZ, showing how boring the show is. And then, of course, his glass of tea. So there you go. We've got two of the critics, and then we've got the full <coughs> cast of characters here. I'll go ahead and put them on a display panel so we can take a closer look at the full set. So I'll be right back and I'll do that for you. All right, so here we have it. Here's the full set. And um, as you can see, there they are. There's the whole gang cast of characters there looking pretty fine if I don't say so myself. But anyway, guys, if you want to see me review this set, I'll be doing that next Friday. So you should definitely check it out. If it's past the month of May in 2022, then you can just go watch it right now. So you should definitely do that. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. We typically do LEGO Star Wars mocks, so if you're into that sort of thing, check us out. And that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.